one. Hi, I'm Erin Hutchins, and this is my project on sleep. Fair. Before I get started, I chose this project because when I was really little, like really little, um, me and my friend always wanted to go to the carnival fair. I'll just let that go out. But we couldn't ride any of the rides because they're too little, too short, or they were too scary. Except for one ride. The kids rides didn't seem much fun, so we got on the Ferris wheel. And our favorite thing about the Ferris wheel had to be the lights. And you get full effect when you do that. And usually in the diamonds, the rhinestones on this keep it keep up. And so the lights are back on. I can get those on so you can still see the wheel. And right now I have my little brother's little people toy things. <laughs> action figures. Action. Thank you. Action figures. Both the same thing. And, um, I guess it's hard to go over. So, anyway. But this is a tutorial on how to sit up, like, not sit up, present a steam fair project. I am in the sixth grade, and I have to do a science class. So, first, you want to have all your pictures. Your materials, your pictures, results, conclusion, process, question. My question was, how does the Ferris wheel work? Well, you see, the Ferris wheel spins upwards with the help of gears and motors, while gravity pulls the wheel back down again. There are six parts to occur. Support frame, this red thing right here. That has um rock that has hold on, I have a look at my materials. Half circles. Those, whatever she said. Sorry, that's my camera woman. Photo bomb. That's my photo bomb. That will order. You interested? Axel, this. Um, you might need to point the camera over here, camera woman. It's this axle, which we use, and we use the back of an arrow because the whole arrow was too big. <laughs> so we have the axle, the support frame, the rim. The rim is the thing, is this outer area with the rhinestones. The spoke cable, the spoke cables are these. Um, axle, miniature axle, pretty much. And the spoke cables hold in the sightseeing cabins or carts, benches, whatever you want to call them. Show them what it is. These things with the flowers on the back. And this is where the people sit. This guy, this is not safe, it's not for actual people. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so they just sit in there. Okay, won't we help you? Not supposed to do that. Go back, photo bomb. I don't need you right now. Oh, okay, this girl's thing. Like, you know, just they spin like that. And yep. <laughs> Sorry, the person. I just keep going out. But aside from that, whenever you're doing a steam fair project for school or anything like that, even if it doesn't say to put, to include pictures, it's always a good idea to include pictures. I have a bunch of these pictures right here of my materials and me sitting it up. Right here, I did a slideshow. Well, not an actual slideshow on the computer, but of pictures. Just flip it. You don't want to get the pictures, but... Sorry. Um, oh, and this picture, I messed up right there. We did not do that, as you can see. That was the first verse where we That's tried. We tried. We didn't do as good, but my fault. Um, next, we have our procedure. First, we gathered all of our supplies. Our supplies was wood, picture frame, wooden book, boxes, flower decor, silver circles, ribbon with diamonds, Paint, paint brushes, solid board, hot glue, hot glue sticks, nail gun, saw, 
Dow rods, drill, pin, arrow. Dow rods. Dow rods. Um, that's 12 things that you use to build that. Oh, and lines. But you. We first we gathered our supplies, then we found our frames. Next we cut dows. Dows are these things that are holding the wooden boxes in place. We cut our dows. We um, glued dows to frame. The frame is this. This is our picture frame. This is Aloha. Which I think is really cool. Then, um. Lobby Lobby. Yes, we got those at Hobby Lobby. Then we added, um. Six boxes, um. For seats. Also benches. Hobby Lobby. Also Hobby Lobby. Most of the stuff you can find this at your local Hobby Lobby, um. Oh, Amazon. Amazon. Um, eBay. Walmart, eBay, anywhere pretty much. <laughs> Or you can just go to any wooden store or online anything really. Then um we stick what what? We stuck the mystery. We stuck an arrow in the middle of the frames. Where is our axle and this person keeps falling out. These are not what we're gonna keep in this. I'm just using these as examples. Oh my brother, put them in there. Just put on my school project. Then we added the frame to hold the. Ooh, I can't even remember my handwriting. And y'all probably have better handwriting than me. What does it say? Oh, to hold the wheel and paint. Paint the. Uh, okay. Paint decor. Add the frame to hold the paint to hold the wheel and paint. And decor. And decor. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. Next, our results. How hard was it to build? Hard. How hard was it to build? How hard was it to build? So, <laughs> it was an eight. <laughs> it's an eight. The worst is ten. Did I have to try that way? Did I, did I have to try different ways to work? Yes. Many ways. Six. Six. So, did I enjoy making it? Um, no. <laughs> do I want to do it again? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Would I want to do it again? No. But it's better than um, a ten. A so. <laughs> well, it's the other How one. How happy was I with the outcome? I was very happy. I'm, I was excited. I had finally finished. <laughs> what I learned from this. I never want to do nothing with my family. <laughs> <laughs> we pulled our hair out on doing this. <laughs> no, you say but in conclusion, what happened? What I learned from this, this making this from making this Ferris wheel is that it's a lot harder than it looks. After many attempts, from using popsicle sticks and then either breaking or not fitting fitting right. I found a picture frame that looks like a wheel. If we wouldn't have had the frames, my project probably would wouldn't have I'm sorry, wouldn't have turned wouldn't have wouldn't turned out like it did. I like painting it. I like painting it and had <laughs> help cutting the pieces, but did not like the loud noise of the saw. I really didn't. Like, I had to pull this all down. I think that's actually a picture or video. Yeah, right there. I didn't enjoy that. It would be fun. So far, I was flipping out. And then whenever um, my mom's boyfriend tried to do it, it flung out. <laughs> it literally flung. The piece of wood. I think it was actually this piece of wood. Flung. No way. It was one of the pieces of wood, and it flew half across the shed, and I had a dunk, so I didn't hit you. It was an excellent dunk. And... Anyway, so chop it up. And so, yep. And then, so this is the conclusion. Then, how is really, how are you supposed to set this up is easy. If you do an experiment like this for your steam fair, 
or anything that is engineering, follow the engineering process. <coughs> Pretty easy. Um, you can find that online, classrooms. Um, if you're homeschool, just ask your parents about it. And we'll call Haven. Ask, talk to, ask you in the comments. <laughs> ask me in the comments. Right? Um, you need to have all your results. Make sure you have pictures, even though it doesn't call for them. It's always a good idea to have them. And how it's set up is you always want to put your puzzle in the back. Make it look really pretty. And make sure people can read it. Keep your log book at the bottom and then your project by the log book. And that's all. Like, follow. Bye.